My confidence as a swimmer started to disappear the day Angela moved to a small town. At the time, some members of the town's swimming club, myself included, were preparing for the national championships, which were just six months away. I had always been the best, and everyone thought that I would be chosen for the relay race. But now I had competition. There was only one place for the butterfly on the relay team, and we both wanted it. For two weeks, it was awful. Angela was always the star. She was faster than I, and her form was better too. I was jealous and scared. My chances of being selected were disappearing fast. My fear caused me to be unfriendly to Angela. I refused to speak to her and never said anything good about her. One day, however, our coach called me, me over and said, Kate, I've got something to say to you. Your attitude is hurting your performance. I know you can change that. I li I'd like you to think about it. When I arrived at the pool the next morning, I thought about what he had said and as I was going through my warm-up. Angela and I were going to compete that morning and only eight girls would enter the final. My thoughts were interrupted when a voice said, Nervous? It was Angela. I don't like to talk before a race, I replied coldly. I get nervous too, she said. Her voice didn't have the anger of mine, which surprised me quite a bit. Angela and I competed in separate trial races. I jumped into the pools and swam like a flying fish. My mind was clear and I could think about only one thing, swimming well. When the races were over, the judges announced that both of us were among the lucky eight who would be competing in the finals. Despite this good news, I noticed that Angela was sitting sadly alone. This puzzled me, but I thought that I knew how she felt and tried to be friendly to her. I don't, like bef I don't talk before races, but I do talk after them. Sometimes it helps, I said. Angela was silent for a while, but then she said, I'm grading practices but in competition I just can't do well. It's like this all the time. I'm so worried about the finals. Now I felt really bad. I realized how terrible I had been to Angela. I wanted to help her. I wanted to show that her I was sorry for my behavior of the past two weeks. Listen, I have an idea, I said. Why don't we help each other prepare the fi for the final race? We have two weeks to work things work on things. Good idea, said Angela. For the next two weeks, Angela and I worked together. I taught her how to deal with stress and how to train her muscles. She helped me with my form, and at the end of these two weeks, we were the best of friends and respected each other as swimmers. The day of the final race came, and when the starter pistol was fired, I swam off like a dolphin. I thought about nothing but swimming, but just before I reached the finish line, I thought of Angela and looked over into her lane. As I was climbing out of the pool, I said to myself, Oh no, what have I done? I thought that I had dropped behind Angela and lost the game when I looked in her direction. While we were waiting for the official announcement, the coach came running over to us. Congratulations, girls. It was close, but Angela has won, and so have you, Kate. What do you mean? I asked. Well, Angela will be in the relay, but she swam so fast, Kate, that you can you too have won. Really? I screamed. I don't understand. I'll explain. The 21st Century Swimsuit Company is giving both of the, you their future swimmer scholarship this year. Wow, I suppose that I'm a double winner. I got a scholarship and made a friend too. You are not the only one, Angela remarked.